What's up, YouTube? Aim Figures here, back at it again with another review. I am back. Um, I apologize for the the long absence with no uploads. Um, uh, I the last week I've been sick with the flu, so I haven't really been doing much. Just been in bed, really. <laughs> um, I'm just now starting to get better, so I figured I'd bring you guys this review. And I just posted a poll on my Instagram earlier today and asking whether or not you guys wanted to see the Figma Deku or the McFarlane Deku first. <clears throat> and at least the last time I checked, <laughs> um, the Figma Deku was winning. Uh, so I'm going to upload the Figma Deku review first. Um, so you can see him here, but we will look at him more so momentarily. Let's start with the box. So here's the back of the box. <clears throat> Here is the side of the box. The bottom of the box. And the top of the box. They're the same. The bottom and the top. No difference there except for the barcode. Then this side of the box. Another pose. And here is the front of the box. Just the window here to see in and see him and his accessories, and then all the all the writing and whatnot. So there is the box. Now let me get my little tripod set up properly, <clears throat> and we will jump into his accessories. So let me pull the faces out as well as the hands. Um, first, I will just look at real quick at what he's got on him. So he comes with his open palm hand here, a flicking hand, and his teeth gritted angry face, you know, for his punches and him him getting punched when uh when Bakugo arrives here. I'll definitely be getting some pictures of those two together, of these two, him and Bakugo together, of course. Can't uh you can't not. <laughs> um I really hope Figma makes more of these figures. Um I'd love to see like an Asui um, and All Might would be really awesome. Lamillion would be beautiful. <laughs> um, so yeah, hopefully they keep him coming with these My Hero figures. But, uh, yeah, so he comes with these two hands, and then these hands here. So another open palm hand for his right side. Then two fist hands, which come on him out of the package. And then these two grabbing hands. Not exactly sure what they, what they're for. Um, maybe something that comes with a future figure? I, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I, I truthfully don't know why they gave us these hands. But I mean, hey, extra hands are always welcome. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's that for the hands. And actually, before I get into the faces, I'm gonna show these real quick. So, because th this is, I actually put one on the face already. These are the little, little sweat droplets, or tear droplets, if, I guess, if, if you want them to be. But yeah, these are the sweat droplets that you, they just stick on to his face. And they give you a whole bunch, which is pretty cool. So you can even use them for other figures. I might put one on one of my Goku faces. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll show you it on the face right here. So here is his worried face. And as you can see, I have it attached right there. So it looks like he's sweating because he's terrified. Um, I, I like it. I think it looks really cool on the figure. It gives the, gives the face a little, uh, a little bit more character as well. You know, it looks pretty much straight out of the anime, and I love it. It's great. Honestly, it is. Um, Figma is really good, I must say. I, I don't own all that many Figmas. The main ones I have are from Sword Art Online, and now this guy. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but I gotta say, of the ones that I do own, the Figma is really, really good with their design. Like, when it comes to anime figures, they really pull it off. I haven't seen their other figures, like, up close or anything, so um, I can't speak for them. But their anime figures are, like, top-notch. <laughs> uh, the, like, the face paint and sculpt, it just, like, it looks str like it's right out of the anime, and it's awesome. Um, so a lot of credit to Figma there, uh, you know, th this, um, this isn't sponsored or anything. <laughs> I just, I, I really like Figma. Um, but here's the other face he comes with, the, his straight face. So very nice looking, his, well, not straight face, his smiling face. Um, very nice looking face. I like it. 
<clears throat> they're all nice looking face sculpts and of course another thing i love about figma is that every figure they have comes with a stand a lot of uh companies should start doing that namely sh figure arts um that line i think is in dire need of that especially considering one of their biggest lines at least i think it's one of their biggest is dragon ball z which has a lot to do with characters flying so I really don't understand why they don't include one flight stand with all their characters. Doesn't make much sense to me. But hopefully they'll change it in the future. Probably not. But you never know. Um, so yeah, here's the figure off the stand. This is the pose I have him in right now. His, his flicking pose. I love it. Um, it's going to pain me to articulate him, get him out of this pose. But it's fine. I'll, I'll just get him back into it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so actually we'll start from the bottom on this guy. Let me get closer to the camera. Can look at his feet. So these parts are both like separately articulated. So you can't actually move the top of his his boot or shoe, whatever the hell it is. It's really big and it looks like a boot, but I'm pretty sure they're sneakers. <laughs> That's just the the style of the anime. Um, but yeah, so you can move both of these parts separately, which I think is pretty cool. Um, there's a nice nice joint in there, so you can move it up about that far and down about that far pretty good uh range of motion there and of course he does have toe articulation which is always welcome um but yeah there we go and we'll look at his legs so straight down his knees straight like this and it can bend back about that far because this portion here gets in the way. Um, I think it's excusable. For me it is at least. Because um, while Deku does get into some crazy poses in the anime. I don't think they're all that crazy. Don't necessarily need think you need more than this uh, articulation in the knees. But more is always welcome. So yeah. Uh, it does have this here. You can actually move uh, swivel around the ankles and i did forget to show that he does have an ankle pivot he does indeed so that's good <clears throat> um he also has a joint at the i'm pretty sure at the knee he has a joint yeah he does he has a joint at the knee as well so it, can, it bends right or swivels right there so that's pretty good um now one big downside with this figure his hip articulation Gotta say, big problem. Because, um, like I said, while Deku doesn't necessarily get into super crazy poses, it'd be nice if I could move his leg up more than that. That's as high up as that'll go. Right about there. Kind of sucks. <laughs> um, gotta be honest. But overlooking that, it's a solid figure. Um, I totally understand. Some people can't get past that. And I get it. It, may, it makes total sense. Um, it was actually a big thing for me. I actually almost skipped on this figure because of that. Because I saw the same thing in a review. Um, so, you know, if you guys are on the fence, I hope this helps you decide. If, if you're big on articulation, then this guy might not be for you. Um, just mainly, like big on leg articulation at least. Uh, this guy might not be for you. His legs are hindered very much. Um, not quite sure why. Uh, I mean, obviously it's because this gets in the way, but I'm not sure why they didn't do something to prevent that. Um, it could have easily been, been done to, to, you know, give him more leg articulation, but <clears throat> anyways, my rant is over. <laughs> um, so yes, now moving on, let's get his arms out of the way so we can look at his abdomen. <clears throat> uh, I do actually think there's a problem with articulation up here as well. Um, yeah, as you can tell, doesn't really crunch very much. Crunches forward about that far. And back about that far. So really, really minimal articulation in this portion. Um, so it's, it's not the greatest uh, in terms of articulation there. Um... The McFarlane one, I guess, 
in at least in terms of articulation in the legs and chest portion or and torso portion is a bit better. Um, I will do a review of that one as well. Um, and I'll do size comparisons as well. So you can see it in this video. I just won't be doing, you know, the articulation on it. Um, but yeah, I'm not really not sure why they didn't do something like, like figure arts, you know, you pop, you can, at least in the 1.0 molds they had, you can pop it up and it'll bend more a bit. I don't know why they couldn't do something like that or anything, honestly, just to give a bit more range of motion here, but cause there's really not much to work with. Um, but me personally, I like the look of a figure more so. Of course, I like getting them into crazy poses. Um, but the looks are mainly for me because I always open my figures and I always have them on display. So as long as I can get them to look cool, I'm fine with it. Um, or I can look past it at least, not necessarily that I'm fine with it. <clears throat> um, but yeah, moving on from that. Uh, yeah, like I said, this mask kind of sits freely. So it'll just jiggle around. Um, and his shoulder joint is actually pretty damn good. Goes up about that high. And of course, down completely against the body. And we'll look at his arms now. His elbow joint is pretty good. Uh, nothing really gets in... Well, actually, right, it gets in the way right about here. Uh, so he can bend about full 90 degrees. Um, so that's pretty good. And he also does have the swivel right at the elbow, just like at his knee. So that's pretty good. Um, this part here does move around. His wrist, uh, like the wrist portion of his gloves. So that's pretty cool. You can match it up because this part is supposed to be on the back. So you can always have that matched up if you're a little OCD on that like me. Um, but yeah. So that's that for arms. And of course, his hands are just a standard uh, ball joint. I think that's what it's called. I'm really bad with the joint names. Um, but yeah, that's just a standard uh, articulation in his hands. And as for his head, actually, you know what? Let me remove the mask. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll remove the mask after afterwards. So with the mask, he can look up. If you get it in the right position, he can look up about that far. Pretty good he can look down you kind of got to do a little fiddling with the mask to get it out of the way of his hair <laughs> um but he can look down about that far which is pretty good uh no, let's pop the head off so if you did have the the other masked head that's what you would do you would just pop the head off remove this mask and then put the masked head on so i'm assuming that's why that's got to be why <laughs> um, they had this as a separate piece. Um, but yeah, so here he is without the mask uh, attached. And he can look up about the same. His hair kind of gets in the way back here. I didn't realize that. I thought it was catching on the mask. But it's actually just catching on the back of his neck. So it's about the same there. He can, however, look down further. He can touch his chin to his neck. Um, so yeah. I'm just going to put that back on. Um, and let me get him into a somewhat static pose. And I'll get... I'll grab some figures for a size comparison. Let's pose him up. Just a tad. We'll just get him like this. Just like that. So it'll look a little weird. But it's fine. Ah. So, actually, you know what? I think I have my ruler here. Never mind. Oh, wait. Yep, here I do have a ruler. Cool. So, I will measure him for you as well. Um, it's going to be a little difficult. This ruler is kind of annoying. <laughs> um, but I'll hold him up to the zero mark. So, holding him up to zero. About there. So, he stands at about a little over five inches tall. Um, which is a little over 33 centimeters. Um, so not, not bad height. Uh, not bad at all. He scales really well with the McFarland All Might. I will grab him for size comparison. Um, which I, I'm glad of it because the McFarland Deku scales horribly <laughs> with All Might. <coughs> so, I will grab these two. 
<clears throat> Here we go. As you can tell, he scales great with this All Might. At least I think so. Um, it might not be perfect, but it's pretty damn good. Like, look at that. They just look like they belong together. <laughs> and then you have the McFarlane uh, Midoriya, or Deku. Um, actually, oh, I'm moving him. I meant to move All Might. <laughs> So, the McFarlane one, as you can tell, run, runs a little tall. He, <laughs> he is probably about an inch taller than the Figma one. Uh, so, in terms of this, not that you would necessarily want to pose two Dekus together, but if you did want to, it's not going to look that great. Um, just because of the, the enormous size difference. Um, but that doesn't make this one a bad figure. Uh, like I said, I will do a review on this one later. And it, it's still a, a pretty damn nice figure, at least in my opinion. Um, but we'll see more of that later. So I will set him aside. And we will get out a Marvel Legends figure for a comparison now. So we will use the brand new Spider-Man Armor Mark III for the review, or for the, the comparison. Um, I love this figure. I will be doing a review of this one as well, uh, as well as the velocity suit. So here is the size comparison between a Marvel Legends and Figma Deku. So pretty decent there. Um, and yeah, um, I'm trying to think if there's anyone else I can compare him to. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'll compare him to a figure arts Goku real quick. I just gotta grab him. Here we go. My apologies, I should have had these figures on hand <laughs> for the review. But luckily, they're all pretty close to me. So, here is a figure art, SH figure arts Goku. Uh, in comparison to them, I'll put them like right up next to each other so there's no distance or anything that makes him look bigger or whatever. Um, but yeah, there we go. So that is actually the custom Super Saiyan 2 Fairy Tail, uh, Fairy Tail Customs head that I bought from Fairy Tail himself. Um, great guy, great creator, very talented. I suggest checking him out. But, anyways, back to this comparison. Here is the size comparison between these two. There we go. And I'll set him aside now as well. So, my final ruling on this guy. Uh, I say, if you are a big My Hero fan, then go for it. I don't think you will be disappointed. Um, unless you're big on articulation. That's pretty much... I think that's that's really the only, the only way you can really be disappointed in this guy. Um, at least in my opinion. Because I don't necessarily think he's a perfect figure. Well, obviously he's not because of the lack of articulation. <laughs> um, but looks-wise, I think he looks great. And I think he looks awesome on my shelf, especially next to All Might. Um, and he's just a great figure to have, really, he is. Uh, I just recently got into my hero. So um, this was kind of just like a... Wow, I, I I really love this show. I'm I'm gonna pick this guy up. <laughs> um, so that's what it was for me. Uh, I do recommend this figure. I will say, um, if you're into articulation, like I've been saying, then he's probably not the figure for you. Uh, but if you can look past that and just you know see see how great the figure looks and how great you can, you know, pose him around, because even in, like, simple poses, even like this, he, he looks pretty badass, <clears throat> um, at least in my opinion, <laughs> uh, yeah, I would say, I would recommend this figure, I would, truthfully, um, it's a bit pricey, uh, this guy ran me about 90 bucks, um, so, yeah, bit, bit pricey, uh, so I can totally understand why people wouldn't pick him up, um, but yeah, that's gonna conclude it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope I helped you guys make a decision if you were trying to make one. Um, 
And if you weren't trying to make one and you just wanted to watch this review, then I hope you enjoyed. Um, and if you did enjoy, you know, you could leave a like, leave a comment. You could subscribe if you really liked it. Hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. You'll be notified whenever I upload a new video, just like this one. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you're having a great day, night, evening afternoon whatever it may be wherever you are in the world and i will see you all in the next video peace